over the last few weeks, I've been playing around with this design that was not really intended to be used for all these different tools, but it's proved to be very versatile and very useful for different items here. Initially, it was just designed to hold a pen for a pen plotter, and it worked out great for that. Then we moved over to a drag knife cutter, and this little unit right here is all of 10 bucks, as far as this right here, and it comes with extra tips. Super sharp, works really, really well. And then since these worked really well, I figured let's move over to a wood burner and see what kind of results we can get. And the results from this have been really, really cool. It does give the look of a laser engraved item. It's obviously not as fast as a laser engraver and you're not going to cut through items, but this was $25 on Amazon, and if you're near Harbor Freight, I've seen these for $10 to $15. So you can really, really do this on the cheap. This was the very first test that I did, and the results were really good. This was before any fine tuning. So let's do a couple more tests here and see what this thing can really do. The only difference we made from this tool to these tools was the aluminum bracket here to really hold the tip in place. For our wood burner tool for some of this initial testing here, I just created a company name, picked a phone number that looked interesting, and drew up a graphic using some of the tools that we have in our offsets and our layout section down here. As far as using the font as well as our graphic here, we want this to be a single line. And in order to do that with the text, we chose the single line option here instead of the true type. True type has a lot more choices. Single line, it's a much more limited option here. That's all we've got for this. True type fonts can be used, but what we have at this point is instead of a single line, we've got more than that. So as an example, this is a true type font and we've got two lines here versus a single line where we would just have one at this point. So for our wood burner we just want to have one line so it's got an easy path to follow. Once we've got our design kind of put together here and this is for some 4x4, four 4, four inches by 4 inches squares that I have, we want to highlight this over to our toolpaths and I created a wood burning tool option here with some presets. This is not a fast burner it's not anywhere near as quick as a laser engraver but it's also a lot simpler and a lot less expensive and kind of fun to play with. So for our feed rate we're going pretty slow at 5 inches per minute. Plunge rate is also pretty slow and then these are our diameter and our pass depth and our step over settings. These can be fine tuned, but for now this is working pretty well. We're doing this right on the line, so right on our designs here. We don't need any tabs. We come down, we would give it a name, save it to a USB drive, and then take it over to the CNC. Something I did discover after putting this tip on here is this sort of works as a heat sink. So the temperature had to be turned up and I had to wait a little bit longer for this to heat up because we were transferring the heat through the bracket here into the metal ruler from the backing there and kind of transferring around a little bit. So that was interesting. But this wood burner tool as well as the one from Harper Freight and some of the other ones come with lots of different tips. This tip happens to be the sharp one or more of a pointed one. We've got some in the box that are rounded, some that are more sculpted, and they can each give really neat results. The beauty of this system is it just drops in. There's nothing complicated, nothing fancy about it. We've got a space here, so we just put our Allen wrench in here, undo this, and it just slides out. The 3D printed plastic here goes to the bottom here, so it's almost flush on the bottom here, 
and this is just a mount that holds a DeWalt 611. I think it's 69 millimeters, and it just drops in there. Several years ago I bought a box of these for a different project, and I've got a lot of these left over. They're about 4x4, four four. they're a little smaller, but 4x4 four four inch squares. And for this testing, this engraving stuff, they work really, really well. Just getting this dialed in with the temperature settings and the feed rate. So let's try a different one. There are our two test tiles, just dialing in the temperature and the feeds and speeds. Fun stuff. Two companies that don't exist. <laughs> Thanks very much for taking a look.